It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we wanted to share the incredible story of a mom and her two daughters. You're going to meet this beautiful family in just a moment, but first take a look at how they are showing their pink power. Growing up, Kelly and I played for hours and hours on end. <laughs> yes, and even though there's a five-year difference between the two, they're really, really close. She did everything first, so I got to see it. So I was the lucky one in that I got to see things play out and how it works, and then you know, then it was my turn, and that goes for cancer, too. Kelly, Trina, and their mom, Wanda Miyahara, went through life having no idea that they were all at high risk for breast cancer. We didn't have any family history of breast cancer. I think we had heard of BRCA, um, but didn't really know how that impacted people or it would impact us or our lives. But six months after a clean, routine mammogram, the mom of two knew something was wrong. One morning I was getting dressed, and I, I felt it, I felt something funny and realized that probably wasn't right. At age 42, Trina was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. As a mom, I'm being there when she was diagnosed. It's a really helpless feeling. What do you do? You wanna help your baby all you can. Because of her young age, doctors did genetic testing and found Trina was positive for the BRCA2 gene mutation that increases a woman's risk of breast, ovarian, and other cancers. Her mom and sister immediately got tested too. The three of us were together that day to find out that we too were also BRCA positive. And it sure wakes you up. Just five months after Trina's diagnosis came another blow. I had breast cancer too. At that time, I was 71. It was fine for me. I was more worried about her than me. I mean, I've lived a long time already. While her daughter was going through chemotherapy, Wanda started radiation. Together, they got through their treatments. That's when Kelly decided to have a preventative double mastectomy. I originally planned on waiting for a while because we wanted to have another baby and it wasn't convenient. And I thought if Trina had a clean mammogram and six months later she had stage two breast cancer and I already know that I'm BRCA2 positive, I've got to take action now. I scheduled it for the first week of January right away. Three days after that, they called and said, you made the right choice because we found cancer. Had I waited for two years, this would be a totally different story. She basically saved her own life. You realize how fortunate you are that we even had the opportunity and the choice to actually do something preventative because she knew she was BRCA positive. In the span of 18 months, Wanda and her daughters all fought for their lives and became breast cancer survivors. There were many days when I was going through chemo where, you know, it was, it was rough. Having them, my husband, my father, my kids, we have a couch in our bedroom upstairs and I'd be laying in bed, but every time I opened my eyes, there was somebody sitting on that couch. For the Miyaharas, the strength of family conquered all. And now, as we're looking at ourselves as survivors, I feel fortunate that we get to do that together too. Wanda, Trina, Kelly, welcome. First of all, we're so happy you're all here and we're so happy you all are healthy and we're so happy that it was all discovered. Trina, I'm just watching you watch your, your own journey, kind of reliving it again. How are you feeling today? We're so thankful that we're here. Yeah. Um, it's amazing to be able to even represent and do this journey together as a family. But it's still shocking to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still surprised every time we tell our own story because mm -hmm. it was so surprising having no family history. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Kelly, I think that's the headline is that you had you had no mm -hmm. knowledge mm -mm. before all of this and you basically <laughs> saved each other's mm -hmm. lives yeah. mm -hmm. and other family members too. I know you're making mm -hmm. this into a documentary. Yes. What, what, do you, what is the message? Yeah. You know, I think when we first found out the shock was why don't more people know about mm -hmm. genetic testing or the ways they can protect themselves and we were shocked. So mm -hmm. started documenting a journey there was a lot of surprises on the way, but our message really is that knowledge is powerful and empowering, and we're hoping to get our story across so that people maybe can use it to save themselves or their own families. Mm -hmm. Wanda, in that piece, it was very clear that um, <laughs> you, you went through a lot of pain, obviously, going through your own cancer diagnosis, but what was infinitely more painful 
was what was going on with your daughters. <clears throat> exactly. I mean, like I said, I was 71 when I was diagnosed, but having my daughters go through this was a lot, lot harder. What, but, did, you, what did you say to her before she went into surgery? Remember? I'll be here. I'll always be here. Yeah, she did. And I know and she's she strong. And uh, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're leading the show. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you you do have each other. And I think one of the things that has been mm -hmm. beautiful about your story is that you were able to inform other family yeah. members, right. Trina, that to ch get tested. Yeah, right. What right. What's happened since yeah, then? Yeah, when we first tested, I tested first after diagnosis and found out that I had the mutation, the BRCA2 mutation. And so then they tested. Mm -hmm. And as much as I didn't want them to have it, um, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise, mm -hmm. and now we get to spread awareness together mm -hmm. as a family and unit. Other family and you let members. other family members yeah. know, right? Yes. right? And we have 11 people tested very soon after, and nine were positive. Nine out of the 11. Yeah. Did, did everyone, I'm curious, because some people are of that mindset of, I don't really want to know. Was everyone, yeah. Yeah. did everyone want to get tested, or did some no. say, no, thank you? No. no. I think that's normal, right? It must right. have been hard to right. say, but if you know, at least you'll have knowledge. Right, because yeah. knowledge is power, mm -hmm. right? And you could do something about it, be proactive about it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she finally got tested. Good. There but, are still a few family members who haven't been tested. Yeah. yeah. That's their choice. That's their yeah. choice. I think the important yeah. thing is they know there's a choice. Yeah. yeah. And Kelly, I mean, you know, I, I think so many women can empathize mm -hmm. with what you were going through because you had a career, you were ha hoping to have another baby, mm -hmm. but you ultimately put your health first. Mm -hmm. And saved your life. Yeah. yeah. Um, we wanted to have another baby, but and I was thinking. Now you have? <laughs> now you have. Yeah. <laughs> so we waited. I'm an older mom now, but it, it all worked out. And yes, I, you have to think about your family when you become a mom. You've got to be there. And what does it take to be there? You've got to look out for yourself. So. Just like your mother did. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yes. Right. Right. We right. want yes. to say thank yes. you to you guys for coming. Y'all are a beautiful family, yes. a shining thank example. You. And, thank and, you and so I much. love that y'all get to be here together. Yes. 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 Thank you for having me. Right. Girls, Girls trip. Girls trip. Yeah. Let's go. All right. We love y'all. Thank, thank you. you.